three things that will make the narcissist go crazy. There are many things that will make a narcissist go crazy. They always have to have things their way. They are very dependent on other people. And they struggle to do anything on their own. So naturally, they're always going to be wild and aggressive. They're always going to be losing their minds. Because they always need to have control. They have to influence your behavior and direct the course of events. But sometimes people don't want to be told what to do. Sometimes people want to make decisions for themselves. It becomes a constant fight. Where the narcissist is trying to control everyone and everything in their environment. So that they can get their way. Because all they really care about is themselves. Everything revolves around their interests and needs. And it's usually at the expense of everyone else. But there are times when the narcissist doesn't get their way. So here are three things that will make the narcissist go crazy. One, when you start taking care of yourself again. When the narcissist first targeted you, they love bombed you. They manipulated your emotions. They showed you whatever they thought you wanted to see. Even though they weren't about any of that. It was just an act. It was designed to mislead you. It was designed to lure you into the relationship. So that they could secure you as their source of supply. And once they had secured you, they stopped being there for you. They stopped attending to your needs. Although they initially led you to believe that they were there to help you. They made you believe that they didn't need anything from you. When now it seems like they're taking up all of your time. They're demanding all of your attention. They're spending all of your money. Which is contrary to everything they led you to believe in the beginning. Because they tricked you. They deceived you. They led you to believe something that is not true. The truth is that they need you more than you need them. That's the real reason why they targeted you. But they will never reveal this to you because it would be unfavorable for them. It's not going to benefit them in any way. But when you're giving all of your time, energy and money to the narcissist, you may stop taking care of yourself. You may forget about your own needs. The narcissist targets your self-esteem. They make you believe that you are not even deserving of self-care. As though they are more deserving of your own time than you are. But when you start taking care of yourself again, this will make them go crazy. 
they will feel like their pet is escaping. They will feel like they no longer have control over you. A narcissist without control will look like a mentally deranged person. Because if they don't have control over you, they don't have control over themselves. They control you to compensate for their lack of control over themselves. They use you to regulate their emotions. So when you start taking care of yourself again, this will make the narcissist go crazy. Because they see any time, energy or money that you give to yourself as something that's been taken away from them. They feel entitled to everything you have. They believe that they are more deserving of it than you are. Which is why the longer you spend around the narcissist, the more you will feel like you're losing yourself. They will erase you at a core level because they need you to give everything you have to them. When what keeps us consistent to how we define ourselves is based on what we give to ourselves. When you're with a narcissist, you can't give anything to yourself. They demand everything you have. They claim ownership of it. Because they are dependent on parts of other people to feel like they're alive. Which is why when you start taking care of yourself again, it will make the narcissist go crazy. It will feel like life or death to them. Which is why it will seem like they're in a fight for their lives. Two, when you invalidate their false self or hold them accountable for their actions. When you invalidate the narcissist's false self, it will make them go crazy. When you hold them accountable for their actions, they will lose their minds. They need you to buy into the illusion. Their false self needs to be propped up. It is dependent on external validation. And if you refuse to give that validation to the narcissist, they will go insane. Because then you're no longer giving your power away to them. You're keeping it to yourself. When the narcissist's false self is fueled by other people's perceptions of them. That's why their image and reputation is so important to them. That's what gets them supply. But when you invalidate their false self. You are no longer giving them supply. And a narcissist without supply will seem like a crazy person. They will resort to desperate measures to heal their bruised egos. They will insult you and put you down. They will try to bring you down to their level. They will elevate themselves at your expense. If they can't get positive supply out of you, they're going to go for negative supply. And they extract that by bringing you down. Making you feel like you're not enough. They transfer their feelings about themselves onto you. It makes them feel powerful. 
it makes them feel relevant and significant. So it still feels the false self. But when you invalidate their false self, it will make them go crazy. They will engage in childish behaviors. They will do anything to make you feel as miserable as they do. But when they do that, you should recognize that you have caused a narcissistic injury. You have triggered them to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. Free. When you expose the narcissist, when you expose the narcissist, this will make them go crazy. The narcissist wants to be the one who writes the narrative. They want to be the ones to tell the story. In their minds, they are the bearers of truth. A lot of them don't even realize they're narcissists. They think that what they're doing is justified. When you try to confront them, they push it away. They don't want to know the truth because the truth is not beneficial for them. Their disorder is designed to block them from ever realizing the truth because it's too painful for them to accept. So instead they blame everyone else. They never hold themselves accountable for their actions. It's a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism for how they really feel about themselves. But when you expose them and other people start to realize the truth, that is when you will really see the depths of their insanity. That is when you will see just how out of touch with reality they really are. Because they have denied reality. They will abandon anything that doesn't favor them. Which includes life. They even abandon themselves. And that is why it feels like there's no real human being inside of them. You can't connect to them. And they can't connect to you. The only thing they understand is superficiality. Things that exist on the surface. And that is why it will seem like they don't have a soul. But they wear masks. They try to hide who they really are. But if you want to uncover what is underneath that mask, all you have to do is these three things. Start taking care of yourself again. Hold them accountable for their actions. Expose them to other people. And then you will see just how crazy they can be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.